if your aim is to work for the society if your aim is to work for the betterment of the people if you want to give light to the people you have to burn like a sun i was always thinking how to really manage and cure incurable diseases uh, which has almost 70% of entire diseases of human beings and you will be surprised to know how many diseases we really can cure with the regenerative medicine because these stem cells may regenerate all the organs this has endless possibilities I'm a physician in the United States. I have been doing integrative medicine and some regenerative medicine for a few years, and I'm very interested in stem cells. And I've been hearing about, you know, what's happening in other countries. So I'm kind of on this mission to go out and really see and experience those places. What I hear people talk about is how in the coming years there'll be maybe less surgery and less medications um, because we can use our own cells instead. Absolutely, five years from now. anybody and everybody coming out of any medical school any doctor has to learn otherwise they'll be left behind and majority of illnesses will be treated with stem cell because that's the most natural way of treating your body here uh, in this facility there's uh, no harm because we use patient's own cells right and uh, there's no risk stem cells are a patient's own uh, repair system okay so they are able to repair any part of your body they have two basic characteristics first is multiplication and second is to define the function of any part of your body so we have started your cells it's it's in the medium of liquid medium and that goes intravenous oh, wow. and uh, it goes uh, 135 ml per hour so it will take approximately 10 minutes and the ml you can see it here that this much ml has gone that's so neat just because we're in different countries we're still all one we're we're all suffering from the same things and we're all dealing with a paradigm that's changing you know we've all tried to fix ourselves with drugs surgeries medications and these things have helped but they've fallen short right we forgot about this innate healing potential that the body has and if we can get back to that and if we can show that all these countries are actually getting back to that i think humanity's going to benefit greatly So it seems like in the United States and I'm not sure how it is in India the stem cell field has gotten kind of a lot of backlash from other people in the in the medical community. We've been trained to do the clinical trials in terms of a medicine and cellular medicine is not a tablet it's a cell and it's a unit of life. So you have to change the mindset where you can get consistent data. The stem cell is the master cell of the body. There is no dispute in this. It helps in regeneration of the organs. Truth is going to exist ultimately. If you are working selflessly for the people, that needs a lot of courage. Now that you are all in my home, I wanted to take you and show you this mystic India and how this crazy place works. These students are now going to chant and they are welcoming you. We are not thinking only for me or only for our family. Whole world is our family. Universe will be happy. Sarve bhavantu sukhina, sarve santu niyamaya, niramaya. It means the all people's health must be good not only our not only our families all the universe people's health must be good it is said in our scriptures that all universe is in our body our body is model of universe so really i like concept of of stem cell each and every cell mm -hmm. in the universe mm -hmm. and we are going to the root and uh, we make root proper everything is one you and me are not different your happiness is mine my happiness is yours your suffering is mine mine is yours i've been filled with this immense gratitude 
and interconnectedness that's happened during this trip started to feel that. You know, we all started as one cell and that cell became a whole person over time and maybe we're all part of this bigger world just like a cell. We're all interconnected and I'm feeling a very humbled sense of wonder of what we can accomplish in the future. The place of Mahatma. Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma means the higher soul, the elevated soul. It is the universal consciousness that Gandhi brought in, the, his practice of nonviolence and and truth. This is the office of Gandhiji. This is where Mahatma Gandhi ran the whole campaign of Indian freedom fighting against British and drove the British away. And this is their original desk where Gandhi stayed and sat and did all his work. In the background, you can see and singing of the beautiful player prayers that he used to love that kids are singing behind to feel the energy. You know, this idea that one person can make a difference, it's not a new idea, but I feel like this is the first time I'm actually feeling that. It's the first time I actually believe it. He elevated the entire country and entire world in this process of nonviolence, and we can, anybody can, change the world if you choose to, if you're willing to, if you believe in it, the universe will respond. I got involved into stem cell. We chose to do that science against all the adversity, against all the opposition. We believed in it and we are on top of the science. That's the power of belief. That's the power of one man's dream. And that's Mahatma Gandhi. I've really discovered the importance of grace and and quiet resistance to opposition. And I think that uh, Devon and Dr. Trivastava, they are so humble and so graceful. They're fighting a really hard fight, um, but they're doing it in the right way. This is a divinely ordained project for me and Dr. Anand is a journey of healing and it's an ongoing journey. And our mission and our vision is to make this most advanced, elite and expensive science available to the masses. I was traveling in India and when I was walking, I saw a very good poster and it was written by Mahatma Gandhi. Many people, especially ignorant people, want to punish you for speaking the truth, for being correct, for being you. Never apologize for being correct or for being years ahead at your time. If you are right and you know it, speak your mind. Even if you are a minority of one, the truth is still truth.